안녕하세요. Hi everyone. Hey guys, it's Ava. We are obviously not at my desk right now. We are in my living room and that's because I wanted to give you guys a change of scenery and not film at my table for once. I didn't know where to place this clip, so I think I'm gonna put it in a new type of video that I'm going to do. Uh, I'm basically trying out something called like a carrot vlog. It's something that I've seen a lot of Japanese and Korean K-pop YouTubers do where they will basically just film events of their life that pertain to K-pop for that specific group that they stan. A lot of the times it involves like going to cup sleeve events, buying albums, unboxing albums, opening up mail and things like that. I'm not sure how this is going to change the format of my other videos coming out from here, but there's a lot of things that I do that are K-pop related that don't quite fit into like an unboxing or a haul or like photo card organization. So I figured I would try this out. Anyways, I'm on camera today because uh, something very exciting happened in the last week and that is I went to my very first K-pop cup sleeve event. The story of how I kind of came about it was pretty unusual. I basically saw a sponsored post on Instagram calling all fans of two particular groups in the city that I live in. So I do live in California and there are lots of K-pop fans in California, but in the particular region that I'm living in, there's definitely not as many. I wasn't even really sure that there were K-pop fans in the city that I lived in until this event happened. Anyways, there was a birthday cup sleeve event for Seventeen's Mingyu and then there's also one for an ATs member. I don't remember the name of them. I'm really sorry. I don't follow ATs, but it was a joint event and it was held at this bubble tea place. And I happened to see the posting, ended up signing up for the event and etc. So I went there, this was on Saturday, a little less than a week ago, and I had a really lovely time. I know that things are obviously limited because of COVID, and despite the circumstances, I still had a really great time. It was really fun to just kind of do something and know that you're in the company of other K-pop fans who share similar interests as you do. So I do have some items from the event. I wasn't sure how I wanted to like show this because obviously it's not really like a haul or anything like that. So I figured this would be a good way to kind of kickstart my uh, carrot vlog, I guess. So this is a cup sleeve. It is a type of cup sleeve that's already like pre-made so you don't have to like insert tabs yourselves. This is what it looks like. Let me make sure that I'm in frame. It says happy Mingyu day. It's this really pretty shade of periwinkle. And it says happy birthday 17's Mingyu. And then the places you'll go is the name of the event. And then the person that was running it, that is their Twitter. I don't know if they have an Instagram, but I do know that they have a Twitter. So yeah, it's super cute. We have Mingyu sitting on a suitcase. They have these little bits of clip art on the sides, which is really, really adorable. So there are two designs. This is the one that I ended up getting. And then they also had some other items as well. So we'll just go through everything. Um, this is a small little postcard. It has Mingyu running. The back is just blank, but I think this is really adorable. And then we have some postcards that are supposed to look like your phone screen when you open the camera app. So here is Mingyu looking very dapper in a suit. We have Mingyu at a restaurant. This is Mingyu eating some food. This is such a cute picture of him. And then here he is outside. And then it also comes with this little sticker. So here we have a baby Mingyu. And I don't know if you can tell, but the sticker is kind of sparkly. Let me make sure that I'm zoomed in. Hopefully that's better. And then here is a photo film strip. And we have some more pictures of Mingyu. So here he is wearing a sweater on his phone. This is a really cute one where he's doing peace signs. And then here is one, it looks like at a restaurant as well. So yes, those are the items from the cup sleeve event. Again, I had a really fun time. It's also really great discovering that there are K-pop fans in my city. I think they're going to be holding another event for 17's anniversary, which is in May. So I'm very excited uh, to go to that as well. And yeah, that's all I really had to show for this clip. And I can't wait to go to more of these in the future. 
I have no idea where to store these cup sleeve items, so I just have it hanging out on my shelf. And then here is my little Hoshi doll sitting in the cup sleeve. I'll have to figure out a way to store it somehow, I think, but for now it'll live here. Hey guys, doing a bit of binder decorating and thought I would show you all. Um, this probably looks a lot different from the last time that you guys saw it. I have since made a lot of changes to the inside of this binder. Over here I just have like stickers that I think are really really cute from fan artists that I'm a big fan of. Uh, we have a doodle that my friend Tammy drew me and then we have some Polaroids and other freebie items. Uh, I just basically stuck it onto the side and that is how I'm planning on decorating the interior of my binders. Obviously there's still some space so I will be doing some things there but I actually came to film because I am going to be putting away some non-official photo cards. So I have this item right here that I'm just gonna stick in with my Going Magazine photo cards. This is just a freebie that I made that I'm gonna put in there. Obviously we have Hoshi wearing his crop Canadian tuxedo. That is a mouthful. Um, and then I also have these items here. So I joined a group order for some fan site goods that I unboxed I think like maybe a few days to a week ago. I don't know if that will be out by the time I upload this. Uh, I imagine not because that'll be part of the monthly collective haul. But um, they did come with these photo cards that are obviously fan-made. This is what the back looks like. I don't know if 
this is just the name of the project or if this is the name of the actual fan site. But it's the archive of Hoshi 2015 to I imagine 2020 or 2021. Anyways, these are photo cards from fan sign events that I presume the fan site themselves attended. But these are all from various fan signs in Hengere and the semicolon era. I think they are so cute and I am going to store them in my binder so I figured I would just do it on camera. Okay, so I've already set up a page for them. Okay, so it's this page right over here. So I guess I've never really talked about it too much and I haven't really had a binder collection slash tour update in a long time, not since I filmed my first one, but the way that I store photo cards is, well, first off, I think the way that anybody stores photo cards is a personal thing. But the way that you collect and store your photo cards is obviously a personal choice and there's no right or wrong way. Some people collect everything, some people collect a few things, and I think storing and organizing photo cards is also a personal choice. For me personally, I have always treated photo cards as like a snapshot or a memory. Obviously they're collectible items, they are worth something, they have value. But they're also photos and I am someone who is not a collector by nature, like I don't collect many things. The idea of buying something just for the purpose of collecting and having it sit and look pretty just grinds my gears and that's just a me thing. If I have something I like to be able to use it, which is why photo card collecting came as a big surprise to me because it's not something that on paper or if you ever met me, you would think that I would enjoy doing, but I do really, really love documenting things and I like having tangible items to represent memories and events and things like that. So I am into film photography, I am into photography in general, and I really love photos and I love keeping like little souvenirs or items as a way to remember and to recall things that I've experienced or concerts that I've been to or trips that I've went on and things like that. So for me, I've always viewed photo cards as a snapshot of that particular era and all the events that took place in that era. And when I look at photo cards, there are certain memories that I associate with it. So obviously I've not been a carrot for super, super long. So I didn't experience all those events real time or firsthand, but you know, seeing a photo card from the teenage era brings to mind seeing that clip of them doing the behind the scenes or the photo shoot or watching the actual music video. So I have started taking to including fan-made photo cards as well as photo cards and pictures that I've created into my actual collection because those are the events that I remember happening around the same time as they were promoting that certain song. So for example, if you look at this page, this is one of the pages for Hoshi semicolon items. There's actually only one official item on this page and it's this Metsima fan sign photo card. Everything else on here was created by me. So I have a Polaroid and then I have these cards that I made and they're just events that took place in 2020 that I will always remember um, looking back on this era or the moments that happened before this era. So we have like going 17 episodes. These are two of my favorite ones that I included on here. This is of course from their anniversary video, which took place well before semicolon, but I just put it on here anyways. And then this is of course during Hangare. So I don't think I'm gonna go back and change the pages that I have for his earlier things, but at least from now and here on out, I think I'm going to incorporate other items that aren't like official into these pages as well. Anyways, that was a very long introduction. I apologize for that. These are the photo cards that we have here. Let's put them in sleeves. Okay. So as you might already see, there's already one photo card that's already in here. And that is one that I made. This was a screenshot or screen capture that I took during my fan sign with Hoshi. That's of course going in the middle and then surrounding it will be these other ones. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. I love this one so much. Oh. So these are just dragon shield sleeves. I use the clear classics. And this is the last one. Okay, so let's see how I, I think I already kind of came up with the game plan 
on how I wanted to arrange these. We're gonna do these ones up here. These two are definitely from Hengare. I can't remember if this one was also from Hengare. No, it's not. This one's from Semicolon, as you can tell from the background. But his hair looks kind of greenish, so I'm gonna put it up there. And then we are gonna put these two to the side, and then I think I'm gonna do that. How do I feel about that? Oh no. We'll do this because these have hand poses. So yes. The other thing too is that obviously while I did not attend these fan signs, they were attended by other carrots. I do love watching fan signs of Seventeen with other carrots because I think it's just so, so nice to see them interact with fans. I think they're really, really cute. There are some really cute fan call videos that are out there for all the members and Obviously, while I personally did not attend them, just seeing them um, is just really lovely. So that is this page. I think it's so cute. I really like it, actually. So that'll be here. That's the end of my semicolon chapter, I guess. And then this is just a card that I made that utilizes one of the photos from The Going Magazine. And this is going to go right in the center. I have his official Going Magazine photo cards surrounding him, so he will look like that. So yes, that was a little small organizing of some photo cards in here. I will be doing a binder update soon. I am waiting to do it all at once, and the only thing that's kind of holding me back right now is my 17 binder because I want to finish my collection for an ode before I film it. So I'm just waiting on some photo cards to arrive and then I will be done with that. And then once I am done, I can go ahead and film updates for all my binders, including Hoshi 17 and then the other groups that I collect as well.
का 